Hi everyone, I'm Jake and today I'll be reviewing some assets and materials you can download and use with Clip Studio Paint. What I'll be showing is only a fraction of the thousands of assets available to download from the Clip Studio Asset Store. Some are paid, most are free, so join me today as I review four of them to create something fun. All of these shown are from Clip Studio's recommended assets page. For more video reviews and tutorials, check out the links in the description. First on our list is the Rake Oil Paintbrush. If you enjoy textured and impressionist painting, then this download is for you. It comes with only a single brush, but a single brush is all you need to create the look of soft Parisian oil painting. For those who've seen my other videos, you might already know that I'm a huge proponent of collecting materials that would save time in the painting process. However, this is a tool that encourages you to slow down and deliberate. By default, the brush doesn't taper and it doesn't quite blend, but that seems to be the point. Like all brushes, you can adjust its setting to fit your comfort zone, but messy and imprecise is the goal. Worry less about the finer details and let the brush do the talking. Due to its lack of focus on blending color, mix your colors separately and color pick with the eyedropper tool a little at a time. For the best effect, stroke with the contours of the figure to create the three-dimensional shape to make it pop. Though this brush is also great for background art or to just add some texture over an existing piece, the author clearly intended the brush to be the main tool of an entire piece, so most of this demonstration has been painted with this material. Coming up next is the Fluff Fur Brush Set. Although it doesn't appear in this final demonstration piece, it was one of the brushes that was played with in the process. This download comes with three brushes to emulate fur, all with slight differences in level of sharpness, softness, and cluster. The brushes are all very soft and can offer a nice level of realism with any piece involving fur, though this is better fit for realism than, say, cell shaded work. The direction of the fur is perpendicular to the direction of the brush stroke, letting you create large patches of fuzz with ease. A good method is to pair this brush with gradient mixtures, and then go up the gradient path from dark to light. If you've avoided drawing furry friends up until now, now's the best time to start, and I'd recommend getting your toes wet with this brush. Next up is an ink brush pen. This material seeks to emulate a messy way ink is absorbed into paper, such as in writing Japanese calligraphy. This brush is heavily reliant on pressure sensitivity, much like how you'd hold and apply pressure with a calligraphy brush. Stronger pressure creates thick splotches of ink, then as it's lifted, it tapers off into a thin, sharp line. Though this may seem more use in certain audiences, we all know that artists are not confined to the rules of tools. So if you can't write Japanese, have no fear. This textured brush can be great for creating scratchy, messy details or blobs of effect. Paired with the oil paint brush, it lets me add just the smidge of detail I need while still fitting in with the dark impressionism of the entire piece. Last but not least, we have the Marble Smoke Brush Set. This brush set comes in three downloads, one with large, lighter smoke particles and two with smaller, denser smoke particles for detail. The author recommends that the large particles remain large, and I couldn't agree more. The material emulates marbled, beautifully patterned smoke effects. With this, you can create smoke, fire, or an eerie miasma. Paired with the different layer modes, you can create all sorts of cool effects to enhance the brush and, by association, enhance your whole piece. I used this set to create a sort of unsettling fog over the piece in both the foreground and the background, giving it an air of mystery and discontent. It can be as subtle or as standout as you want it to be, and like many things, only a little goes a long way. And here is the final result. What's really wonderful about Clip Studio is that many of its resources are created by users for users all available from the Clip Studio website and the Asset Store. Although I believe ultimately the tools don't make the artist, Clip Studio makes the art process incredibly streamlined and user-friendly for beginners and masters alike. I hope you found this video helpful, and I wish you luck on your artistic journey. Thank you for watching, and until next time.